This problem is a pretty tricky one, but um, you may not understand why just yet. When I look at this problem, they're asking me how much material I need to make the tent. They're not asking me how many peanuts it'll hold or how much air it holds. So since they're asking me to make it, they're asking me to find surface area. They don't say just the sides. They, um, there's a front, there's a back, so that's how I know that it's going to be total surface area. So when I look at this problem, obviously the first step I need to take is to draw, redraw the bases. So um, I redraw the base, I color it red, I shade it in green, and I start labeling the things that I know. Well, when I label the things that I know, I only have one side that I know, and I know that I'm going to need to find the perimeter of the base. So instantly that tells me I'm going to have to use the Pythagorean theorem to find the other two sides. So <clears throat> I also can tell by looking at this that 5 is the total length of the base, and 2.5 is what each of the sides are. That's not, it's actually two right triangles kind of smashed up against each other with the six being the side they have in common. So I'm going to find the area of one of those right triangles. So when you look, C is the one that I'm missing there, and you can see the six, 2.5 C, that's the triangle I'm going to find the area of. So I'm going to try and the miss, find the missing side for. So I write down my Pythagorean theorem. And then I write down what I know. I know that one of the short sides is 2.5, the other short side is 6, and the third side is the one I'm missing, so I leave it as C. When I substitute those numbers in, 2.5 squared is 6.25, 6 squared is 36, and then I'm going to add them together, I get 42.25. When I take the square root of 42.25, I get 6.5 as my missing side. Since they're both, the sides of a tent are equal, that means the other side over there is 6.5 as well. So now that I know what all three sides are, now I can start finding my total surface area of this shape. So I write the formula S equals big PH plus 2 big B. S is perimeter, that's what big P stands for, times the height, plus 2 times the area of the base. Probably should have put add the size there instead of perimeter, I don't know what I was thinking. Um, so the perimeter is 6.5 plus 6.5 plus 5. Notice I did not use the 6 because that's part of the triangle that's inside the triangle. It's not part of the perimeter. It's part of the area. Okay. Um, I also forgot to cross out the big shape, so let's make sure we don't pay attention to anything on the big shape at this point. So the height of the, of the um, prism is 9. I'm going to add that to 2 times 1 half little bh. That means I'm looking at the Little b means I'm looking at the triangle, so the base of the triangle and the height make a right angle, so 5 and 6 made a right, make a right angle, so I'm going to do 1 half of 5 times 6. When I start working that out, 6 plus 5 plus 6 plus 5, I'm sorry, 6.5 plus 6.5 plus 5 is 18, times 9, plus 2 times 1 half, 5 times 6 is 15. That's 162 plus 30, which makes my surface area 192 square feet.